Now to the Starfish, the critically acclaimed documentary that tells the story of a young Jewish boy whose life was on the line in Nazi Germany and the unsung heroes who saved him from the horrors of the Holocaust. In this Daily Mail TV exclusive, Herb Gilden describes his harrowing experience and an emotional reunion 60 years in the making. We heard the breaking of glass and uh, we knew that something terrible was happening and was going to be happening to us. November 9th, 1938, Kristallnacht, the night that changed Herb Gilden's life forever. In Germany, soldiers torched synagogues, vandalized Jewish homes, schools and shops, and killed nearly 100 people. Jewish families were forced to send their children out of Germany for their own safety. A terrible decision for parents to have to make, to give up your children so that they will survive. A group known as Hayas helped get the three Gilden children safely to Sweden. Syl was 14, Margaret 12, and Herb just 10. I remember very little except when we got to Sweden, we realized that we were in the same town over three separate non-Jewish families. The Silos were Herb's new family with several children of their own. And accepting his new lot in life, Herb began to flourish in Sweden. And the probability of my parents ever leaving Germany and us being able to join them again was probably zero. But the Gilden family beat the odds. The parents were able to emigrate to the U.S., causing a bittersweet dilemma for the children who could now reunite with them. Was I happy about going? Yes, but. Now again, I, you know, I'm, I'm leaving a mother. They became my family. After more than two years apart, the children finally reunited with their parents in New York. While living in Brooklyn, Herb tried to stay in touch with his Swedish family, but as the years went by, fewer letters were exchanged. My, one of my great regrets is that I didn't keep better contact with that family. Herb, who rarely talked about his past, graduated school, married, and became a successful business and family man. But nearly 60 years had gone by before Herb's daughter, Mindy, pushed the possibility of reconnecting with Herb's Swedish family. I, I always knew my father was in Sweden, but there wasn't any sense of who the family was. Maybe his family is out there, and what would it be like to, to meet them and get to know them? So the Gildens researched, found, and contacted the Silos, and in 2001, an emotional reunion took place six decades after Herb left Sweden. And you are and I saw you. <laughs> it's all now chronicled in a documentary by Herb's grandson, Tyler. I always knew that he had somewhat of a unique past, but I didn't really know details, to be honest. All of a sudden, I was you know, 28 years old, and I'm learning all these things about my family that I had no idea. The film is appropriately entitled The Starfish. As the parable goes, a man ridicules a boy for trying to save starfish on a beach. He's told there are too many for him to make any difference. Undaunted, he bent down, picked up another starfish, threw it into the surf, and smiling at the man, he said, I made a difference for that one. These families couldn't stop the war and help every Jew, but you know they did for one family. That's the idea of the starfish effect. Each of us in our lives, we have an opportunity to have a starfish moment. We should take that opportunity because you never know how it can grow. Herb Gilden, who turns 90 in a few weeks, tells us he has one more mountain to climb. He's been diagnosed with cancer, but like everything else in his life, he is facing his illness head on, saying even this battle is not impossible to overcome. And we certainly wish him well.